Martial arts have a worldwide following and carefully choreographed fight scenes are a Bollywood staple. The problem with the movies is that we can never be sure when special effects have been used. So when we see the spectacular Shaolin monks in action on stage, we know that this is the real thing. This kung fu troupe performed in Jersey recently and Mela made sure to get front row seats. Not that long ago, you'd have had to travel to Henan province in China to see the Shaolin monks in action. But now a band of brothers have arrived in Gauteng, ready to hold audiences spellbound. When the first IFA Awards were held in London in 2000, the Shaolin monks were on the list of entertainers. That was the first time I saw them in action and I have been dying to see them live ever since. Well, now is my chance and we also get to go behind the scenes to see some of their intensive preparation. Robin, you are one very busy man. Yes. Does the monastery make the costumes for this show? Not especially for the shows. We actually sourced most of these costumes, pretty much all of them, from China. Can you take us through some of the pieces? When they came to us to ask us to put the wardrobe together for this show, the previous show just involved this basic Shaolin monks kung fu uniform. They're the ones that are having the fight with the emperor and with the general. They're, they're keeping the tradition of the monastery alive. Different examples of the scenes, for example, this is like uh, you go into black and gray, and that's the village scene based around the blacksmith that initially makes the weaponry for the monks to fight the emperor. And how do you deconstruct some of the costumes? You just try and batter them, really. So the <laughs> nice thing about it is actually you're almost working the opposite to a regular show, where you might be careful about the costumes. You want them to erode and get damaged and dirty. Uh, as much as possible. And to change colour is fantastic. What are some of your favourite pieces? And this is? This is an authentic fisherman's cape. And we can try this on you. <laughs> this would keep the rain off, that's the point of this. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's well, not just, it okay. doesn't just look ridiculous. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's got a function, yeah, yeah. No, this literally works with the, uh, okay. yeah, for the rain. <laughs> purpose is this cape, it's a, an old cape. <laughs> 20 monks make up the troop who've come to South Africa, but some of them look hardly older than 7th graders. This isn't surprising as aspiring monks often start from as early on as 3 to 4 years old. So some of the teens on stage are veterans with over a decade of experience. The Kung Fu practiced by the monks is known as Shaolin Wushu and is one of the older styles of Chinese martial arts. It was originally developed as a way of enabling the monks to defend themselves against bandits and invaders and drew on ancient techniques and weapons often derived from farming implements. By the 17th century, an institutionalized style had taken shape and Shaolin Wushu formed an integral part of temple life. That is amazing. Mm. I think I can learn some. Okay, we're gonna just pop in. Okay. <laughs> A little one can teach you something. Okay. Yeah. Please. This is amazing. Okay. I'm gonna try. No. <laughs> you must train as a dancer before. Yeah. A little bit of dancing, yeah. but I'm not nearly as good yeah. as you are. Can you teach me how to say thank you? Yeah, you can say xie xie. Xie xie. Xie xie. Xie xie. Aside from their martial arts training, they also receive a sound academic education, along with Buddhist spiritual values. Love is taught to be of paramount importance, and practice is seen as a way of gaining wisdom. I appreciate the spiritual significance of the colour saffron, but it's also a fabulous colour for a costume, especially when worn by warrior monks showing off their skills. Ah! How does someone become a Shaolin monk and how are the candidates selected? Everybody can become a Shaolin monk, but you have to be qualified as a Shaolin monk through the hard training. It's not everybody can pass that training, really. Would you say that it's important to have a balance between spiritual, physical and mental training? And how does one achieve this? Through meditation. Meditation can be, um, you know, just sitting there to think, concentrate on using the power of mind. Also, we practice Kung Fu, also form part of that meditation as well. At what age can someone become a novice monk and what is the average age? As an ordained monk, 
you have to be 18 years old. But become a monk student, you can start as young as two years old. Training is intense, with a typical day beginning at 5 in the morning and ending around 11 at night. Basic power and combat skills are taught, while stamina, flexibility and balance form the foundation on which the martial arts ability is built. In addition to unarmed combat, they also train in the use of 36 different weapons. Which styles of Shaolin Wushu will be used in the performance? Everything you see is Shaolin Kung Fu, or you may say Shaolin Wushu. Shaolin Wushu is actually called Shaolin Martial Arts. I'm very much looking forward to the performance. Xie Xie. My pleasure. Zaki had stuck to something practical for her time with the monks backstage, but for the opening night, she favored something elegant. Yuvigo, what do you think of the Shaolin monks? I think it's so mystical and magical. I can't really wait to see the show. And it's a combination of religion, kung fu, and they're also soldiers. So I'm actually quite curious, looking forward to it. Are you a fan of the Shaolin Max? From what I've seen, I think it's really going to be an amazing show. I think their grace and their discipline is something that you can aspire to. I am so looking forward to seeing them live in 3D on the stage tonight. With the red carpet parade complete, the Josie Glitterati took their seats, looking forward to a display of discipline, dynamic power, and focused energy. Insane. I'm like blown away. I can see it's real, so I'm impressed. That guy who also broke a metal piece on his head, that was hectic. That was amazing and even more spectacular because there were no special effects involved. The Shaolin monks are the real deal and they exceeded all my expectations, especially because I now know what it takes to become a wushu warrior. <laughs>